Real life incident management. How do you even start to document that? The problem with trying to create an incident management program is that you're dealing with the unknown. There is absolutely no way you can document everything you come across and trying to follow that documentation to the letter when you come to a, a real life incident. And this is why for me incident management comes down to four things. Command, control, communication and collaboration. The first two, command and control, make sense. The first thing you have to do is establish who's in charge and who's on the team and who's going to be dealing with what matters. Which SMEs do you need according to the environment that you're dealing with? Communication and collaboration follow very quickly afterwards. Communication is important. You not only need to, to communicate with the people within your organisation or even with external third parties, but you have to make sure that you're communicating amongst yourselves. And finally, the fourth one, collaboration. You have to work across every single team within your organisation to make sure that everybody is working in synchronisation. And perhaps the most important part of any plan that involves command control, communication and collaboration is actually identifying when the incident is over. Because otherwise you either end it too early or you're constantly in incident management mode. Knowing up front within that first meeting when you decide based on the information you have in front of you when the incident is going to close is a really important factor. So folks when you come to actually create your own incident management documentation, keep it very simple, keep it very high level and focus on those four aspects, command, control, communication and collaboration. Everything else will fall into place.